in this video uh, which is an NCA level 2 excellence question of graphs the question reads like this <coughs> a tunnel which is being built in the shape of a parabola is being built in the shape of a parabola the height of the tunnel is to be 3.6 meters so this is a tunnel so this is your tunnel I've drawn the tunnel in the shape of a parabola and the height is 3.6 meters okay so you can see this is an upside down parabola a truck that is 1.8 meters wide can have a maximum height of 2.8 meters when passing through the middle so this is the middle of the tunnel and this is say that that truck which is uh, 1.8 meters so you will have zero, negative 0 0.9 to the left and 0 0.9 to the left so 0 0.9 on both sides will make 1.8 and the height is 2.8 another question is uh, what is the maximum height of a truck that is 2.1 meters wide that means say here you have say 1.05 okay this is negative 1.05 negative 1.05 is half of 2.10 so the year you have got say positive 1.05 okay okay so now if this the question is if this truck becomes wider that means it becomes 2.1 uh, meters wide obviously the height cannot be 2.8 it has to be less than that okay so that's the question so to answer that question we need to write the equation of this parabola so by looking at the parabola I can see this parabola the suppose I'm talking about say let me draw the graph of y is equal to x squared the y is equal to x squared this is what I'm talking about this is the graph of y is equal to x squared now what has happened to this parabola with respect to this so well I can say well this has gone flipped over so it has gone upside down and that is a stretch factor okay and uh, it has also moved up okay so there are three transformations that are very obvious here it has flipped over it has moved up and that is a stretch factor okay it is pulled uh, yeah pulled on by on both ends okay so, so I can say y okay so the equation of this parabola should be y is equal to a x squared this parabola has hasn't moved to the left or right it has moved up plus 3.6 okay now this this will answer this a number will tell me two transformation this number I know should be negative because it has flipped over and as it is as it has been stretched or pulled uh, to, but the old, this will be a decimal number that's my guess okay so I have to just now find a by what so we know this point can we say or this, let us take this point this point is 0 0.9 comma 2.8 so I can put x as 0 0.9 and y as 2.8 so I can say well 2.8 is equal to a times 0 0.9 squared plus 3.6 so taking away 2.3.6 from both sides you get 2.8 minus 3.6 is equal to 0.9 squared is 0 0.81 a okay 0 0.9 squared is 0. Point, you can do this on a calculator 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 0 0.81 so so this is uh, this is 0 point 2.8 minus 3.6 is minus 0 0.8 am I right okay so it's always good to check it's always good to check so menu so 2.8 minus 3.6 is minus 0 0.8 I was right so minus 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.81 a 
I'm now going to divide both sides by 0 0.81. So A is negative 0 0.8 over 0 0.81. Okay, and that's what I told you. It has to be negative. So again, let me get the calculator out. Menu run. So negative 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.81 is 9877 in four significant figures or four decimal numbers. So A is negative 0 0.9877 in four significant figures. Four significant figures. Okay. So now the equation becomes y is equal to negative 0 0.9877x squared plus 3.6. Now my question is very simple. If x is 1.05, how much is y? That will give me the height. So y, so the question is when x is 1.05, what is y? So that's pretty simple. This is y is equal to negative 0 0.9877 times 1.05 squared plus 3.6. For this, I'll need a calculator. So let me get a calculator. So menu run negative 0 0.9877 times 1.05 squared plus 3.6. And here we go, the answer is 2.5 in 1 dp, okay, or 2.5 meters. So that's the maximum uh, height the truck can be. So this would be 2.5 meters in one decimal place. Okay, so this is your answer. And if you can do this, you are getting, you would get an excellence in your NC exam. Best of luck, luck for your NC exam that's coming up.